Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Monday, July 23rd, 2018. Uh, rain off and on again all day long. Now it's obviously we're getting a nice steady rain now. And so, uh, but yesterday I continued to split wood, as you can see here from the pile. Uh, and uh, I couldn't do any today because of the rain, so but that's okay. And uh, we'll see what happens. I got the kids today, picked them up, so they're back home. Uh, so I had gotten a suggestion from one of my subscribers, uh, Diatonaceous Earth. I I'm, hope I'm saying that correctly. So we just picked up a bag of that. It's like a 25-pound bag. Or maybe it's even more than that. I'm not even sure what the size. We'll have to look at it again. I think it might actually be more because it was pretty heavy. Um, anyway, so picked that up. I was suggested to spread that around in the house, uh, in the corners especially, outside, rub it into the animals as well, and we are absolutely going to do that. It is, it is um, food grade, so they said make sure you get food grade, we got food grade. So I picked that up today and we will work on doing that as well. Uh, somebody else has suggested taking uh, some like pans or something, uh, not even pans, like plastic containers using Dawn uh, dish soap, put that in there, put that on the floor at night, and that the ticks, or not ticks, but the fleas will jump in there and drown, but it has to be Dawn. So I picked up the Dawn dish liquid as well, and we're gonna do that as well. So we'll just get ahead of this here with these fleas, because I bombed the house, and we already have a few fleas back already. So we're gonna try this other alternative methods to see if that helps and that works. So that's uh, that part of it. Um, I want to remind you, again, today is, like I said, today is the 23rd. Tomorrow is the last day of the sale for Legacy. It is 25% uh, off today and tomorrow through midnight. And you can go in there through my uh, website at preppernurse1.com. And you can, uh, you know, pick up anything 25% off of all the products that we have there. Okay, so just wanted to make sure I put that out there. So I didn't forget to tell you later in the video. Okay, so today, uh, President Trump made a very tough stance with uh, Iran. And I want to make sure I don't misquote this, so I want to read this to you. Uh, he tweeted out to the uh, Iran's president, Never ever threaten the United States again, or you will suffer consequences like the likes of few throughout history have ever suffered before. We are no longer a country that will stand for uh, your demented words for violence and death. Be cautious. Now, <clears throat> um, I want to hear what your guys' thoughts on that are, okay? So now, I'm sure some people are going to think that he's trying to provoke something. Uh, I think that what he's doing is he's letting these people around the world know that the United States will not be trifled with, like they have with... Uh, past weak presidents that we have had and uh, that we're not going to take any garbage from anybody you know so I mean you know maybe he could have said it differently I don't know but I, I, I have no problem with him taking a hard line uh, against people that want to kill us now first of all let me just say not all Iranians want people in the West dead okay not all of them there's a lot of people that are in Iran that are very good people, just like there's a lot of people here in the United States that are really good people. You have some people that are definitely, you know, wanting to see the demise of the United States in the West. And, you know, it, there's the same thing here in the United States. There's people that want that as well. So uh, I definitely, like I said, you have to kind of read through it. I think he's basically telling them we're not going to take any crap, so don't start any. Uh, I have no problem with that. I'm not looking to get into another conflict. I don't want to see that happen, I'll be honest with you. Because, like I said, I think a lot of Iranian people are very good people. Uh, just like a lot of the people all over the world in different countries, for the most part, I think most of the people are decent people, you know, just trying to live their lives, and just like we are here. And then you have, you know, a few people that have a different mindset and a different agenda. So, you know, like I said, I, I want to hear what your feedback is, what you think of that situation. Now, um, you know, it is, uh, it's a crazy world we live in now, guys. It really, really, truly is. And uh, I think we all need to be very cautious 
we need to be vigilant. We need to pay attention to what is going on because, you know, and I've said this before, I personally believe that one day we'll be like today where everything is fine and normal and we'll wake up the next day and it'll be complete chaos and the world will not be the same. I do not make any predictions on when that will happen. I have no idea. You know, I, I no, no clue. But like I said, it's like the biggest thing that I could suggest to anybody is you prepare for the worst and you hope for the best. So, you know, as far as prepping goes, continue to be vigilant. Continue to, to work on your preps to be ready for whatever is going to happen. Because unfortunately, I think when something jumps off, it's not going to be very pleasant. And it's not going to be a good thing at all. And it's not good for people, you know, in general. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people will suffer. And uh, I, you know, like I said, I, I don't have a lot of faith in mankind. So who knows what will happen in that aspect. But uh, so anyway, uh, the forecast is for rain today, rain tomorrow. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. And so we'll see what happens with that. But if we get a break in the rain and we can start getting some wood stack, that's what we're going to do. Regardless, at some point this week, we'll start getting this wood stacked. Uh, like I said, the kids are home now, so we'll work on that. I will continue to work on that other pile over here that's over here. There's quite a bit of wood that I can still split out of that. Some of it's smaller stuff that can just be stacked up. But like I said, we're just going to keep working at it methodically, and before you know it, that'll all be done. We'll get that stacked up, and uh, we should be in really good shape for winter. And that is the end goal, is, uh, you know, get that knocked out of the way, and then we don't have to worry about it anymore. So, uh, that's what's happening here today, you know, not, not a whole lot of, we haven't had to water the garden, obviously. Uh, didn't have to water it yesterday, don't have to water it again today. Uh, I'll show you over here, even though that chair's, there's a lot of wash standing water there, so we've had quite a bit of rain so far. The cool thing about when it rains like this, now, as you guys know, I have, anybody that's uh, followed me for a while knows that I have a um, artesian well. So the water's always coming up from the artesian well. When we get a lot of rain, it ends up even just automatically filling up our 1,000-gallon storage tank. I actually took the lid off of that just uh, maybe yesterday or the day before and looked in there, and it was completely full. And I haven't even, you know, tried to fill it up since the last time I showed you guys on, on uh, the video how I do that. It was completely full on its own, okay? So that's pretty cool in that aspect. I, I think that that's kind of neat. Uh, well, I was going to share something else with you here, too. Now I'm trying to remember what it was. <laughs> I hate that. Old age is so much fun. You get on a subject you're talking and you completely lose your train of thought. Anyway, uh, guy, what was I going to say? I don't remember, guys. I apologize. It, that, whatever thought that I had that I was going to share with you is completely gone. So... Uh, we had, I, I don't know if I told you guys this, in the grill over here, I had, the other night, I had, it was raining, and I went out by the tree to go to the toilet, because it wasn't any rain coming in that area, and all of a sudden, all these bees came out of the grill. I'm like, what in the heck is going on here? So, came into the shop, I grabbed a can of WD-40, and I flipped that open, and there was a fifth size, like this, uh, wasp nest in there and I was like oh this is not gonna go so I sprayed that really really good with the WD-40 and then I lit it on fire and burned it up and that is the end of the bees in there but yeah we I don't want the bees right there for sure but uh, it was uh, it was a pretty good spot because you never I never saw it you know until that point where I was you know going to the bathroom all of a sudden I'm got like eight bees all around me so that was not very fun at all Okay, so anyhow, um, I definitely want your feedback. What do you think of the comments of President Trump? What do you, you know, I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say. Some of it's going to be positive, some of it's going to be negative, and that's fine. We all have the right to our opinion. So let's be kind to each other in the comments as well, please. Um, anyhow, remember guys, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. Life is so, so short and it's so precious. And to be able to tell the people that you care about and how you feel about them is really important, okay? And remember STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. 
The only one that's going to stop you from getting there and reaching your goals is yourself. Nobody else can do it. Don't listen to the negativity. Negative people want to bring you down because they're miserable. They want you to be miserable too. I make a choice. I want to be happy. I choose to be happy, and so I am. That's basically how it goes. Uh, there's so much positivity out there, guys, and so many positive people that it is absolutely awesome. Okay, And uh, surround yourself with that instead of negativity. I will talk to you guys all tomorrow. I hope everybody's having a good start to your week. Um, and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Prepper Nurse One, out for now. And here's Miss Soxie sleeping and the kitten.